Hello guys, this is my fun and welcome back to another session of Dark Souls PvP. Well this time guys, we are back at it. We are doing more um, arranged setup matches, duels, wars, whatever you want to call it. But I just call it, you know, just a couple, um, a couple more arranged matches with, you know, uh, which I um I pretty much I say he's a famous person. He's a he's also another um YouTube uploader. He is great at it. People love his videos and I'm pretty sure if you guys I'm pretty sure you guys would love him too. So if you guys haven't already, please go by just please go by and check um check out his channel because you guys will not be disappointed. And he deserves way more subscribers because the way he makes his videos is in, is in his own unique way. I'm pretty sure he's the only person that does uploads the way he does. So please go check it out. But yeah, his name's Eric. Um, I'm not gonna try to pronounce his last name because I may um pronounce it wrong, and you know I don't want you know, you know I just don't want to pronounce the name wrong because I know how I am when people pronounce my name wrong or whatever. But Eric, for what you guys don't know about Eric, me and Eric has some history not anything like you know like too deep or whatever but when I first started uploading I um I, I was using Windows Movie Maker right but see my first two uploads ever I at they it at Windows Movie Ma Windows Movie Maker actually you know let it me it actually let me upload those videos with no problem right but then after the next week came, I tried to upload it, but then they was talking about an, an error. So then I had to find out how to put it in the format of WMV, right? That um, It's just the format so you can upload to YouTube. I had to find out how to do that, right? Then after I went through all that trouble for like a week, I still wasn't able to um, find a way to upload it. So thanks to Eric, I messaged him. I don't know why. I don't know. Something just told me to message him because he just seemed like a real cool guy. Because I watched all his videos and everything. So I messaged Eric, and so he actually helped me out a lot. So I asked him what you know, what did he use and all that. And, you know, he told me, gave me feedback and everything. He told me what to do. And so now I'm uploading again. If it wasn't for Eric, I would not. I wouldn't be uploading today. So I just want to, um, you know, give a shout out to Eric and say thank you to him. And he got lucky that I got a failed repost. I hate when that happens so much. But yeah, thank you, Eric. Shout out to Eric. You know, you guys, please go check out his channel. I'm pretty sure you guys already have. You know, if you if you are subscribed to me, I'm pretty sure you already subscribed to him just because he's been here before. I have. I'm pretty sure. But. Yes, these are going to be duels with Eric up here at Sins Fortress. We are at the top in the um pretty much like a hidden location. For those of you for um those of you that do not know where this is, all you do is drop down like at the beginning of the scenes like as soon as you go in, you drop down where the little black gooey sticky stuff is. <laughs> and then like you just go like to the left. And then you climb up that ladder, then you hit the wall in front of you. It's an illusion wall, just like the one in the forest, the dark forest behind the bonfire. But then you just climb up another ladder, and you gotta kill this big old, like, you know, weird golem creature. Not golem, you know what I mean. He's giant. But yeah, this is where we are at, in case some of you guys are confused. And if you're just looking for more on um, PvP spots, this is our location. And, um, another thing about me and Eric, we have actually been trying. Okay, the week he helped me out when I first got my uploads back up, we were supposed to um, have a, a range set up of matches that week, which was like forever ago, like months. Well, not months. I haven't been uploading that long. I've only been uploading ever since February. That's when I started. But ever since that second week when I was supposed to got my second uploads up, we made... we. We, I guess you could say we sort of kind of made plans to um, having a couple of uh, arranged matches and it took all this time for us to get together and actually 
you know, have it out, you know, actually fight each other. But there is a couple um reasons why because we are not on the same time. So when it's like midnight over here, it's like, you know, like five o'clock over there where he is. So that kind of was an issue too. And um yeah, we've been supposed to have these set up matches, but guys, it was worth the wait because you were seeing him playing with his strength build. This is his strength build right now, but this is actually like a um, prototype of it, I guess you can say. But either way, prototype or not, Eric is a beast with strength weapons, and I'm pretty sure you guys will see it in this video right here. And um, I like to say, it's like, he kind of says, like, um, that like I'm kind of like a good player, but dude, Eric, you are like he's a great player, and you guys will see because he kept me on my toes like 24/7. Like there was not one match I went through, you know, that I wasn't worried about, you know, because he got skills like mad skills. Like he, he's a top tier player in my eyes, in my opinion, and I'm pretty sure everybody else sees it that way. If not everywhere, I'm pretty sure there is a lot of people that see him, that see his, um, you know, see his skill level on like a whole different level than what he think that he's, okay, what I'm trying to say is, I can't, I can't say it for some reason, okay, he thinks that he's not, uh, um, a really good player, he still thinks that just because that like, he has a lot to learn and all of that, that he's not a good player, but, dude, I have a lot to learn, and, but really, I don't even consider myself as a good player, I just, cause pretty, all I, cause pretty much all I do is, I just fight with strategy, that's all I do, like, I don't take that as, as in, like, I'm a good player, all I do is just really just look in time, just like, you know, I just look for openings, and I read your movements, and then, you know, that's how I. That's pretty much how I get all my pairs. If you're not spamming R1, the reason, the way I get a setup pair is just by me, pretty much just reading your movement and all of that. But yeah, I'll say I'm an average player, but you know I'm not just like a beast or whatever. But that still uh, doesn't deny the fact that Eric is a great player right here you guys will see just how um ridiculous like he is with this um black knight great sword right here. well it's, it's, the, it's the black knight ultra great sword you guys know what i mean but man of course oh yeah another thing about our little connection issues man one fight like i swear i was hitting him for like I swear every attack I did make direct contact with him, but he wasn't taking any damage for um for no reason. But that's due to lag because I guess because like the distance between between me and Eric, I guess. But man, that was crazy because like each hit I swear it was like make direct contact. You know, but then again it could have been phantom range. But of course, I already know about phantom range and everything, but I'm saying it was just weird because each hit I did, each attack I did connected perfect, but he did not take no damage that whole match, and that was pretty crazy. And another thing that I've seen is like, okay, sometimes when on your screen, when it shows that you're making contact with somebody, when it shows that you're hitting somebody, on their screen sometimes it'll actually show them like five or ten feet away like they rolled out of the way but sometimes it's just like it programs as in, in like okay well since on my screen I showed you getting hit but on yours you you um evaded it sometimes they will still calculate up the damage and you'll still take the damage like that's messed up like yeah I hate it when that happens like so much and sometimes you guys can even see it yourself like you'll roll away at least like you'll you'll probably roll like two times evading but yet you'll still get hit somehow from like ten feet away. And it happens a lot with the with the ultra great swords little rolling R1 attack. I get hit by I guess you can call it phantom range, I guess that's what it's called. Like so much. But yeah. 
You see right here, Eric is um when he plays with his strength build, he is pretty aggressive with it. And like really where he really shines at with his um strength weapons is the club, the moon the um Well my bad. I'm sorry, I almost said moon aggressor. But the club, the um Black Knight Ultra Great Sword and the Harbor, the Black Knight Harbor, that's where he um really shines at and you guys will see him he he um kills me with that stupid butcher knife oh, i hate that weapon so much and i was just so thirsty to get the parry but i couldn't get it but it's cool because he got skills with it and um he was pretty much using it unlocked pretty much so i wouldn't get the parry and that's pretty that's a smart thing to do but yeah guys he shines in the um with strength weapons he's pretty good with them and um there's actually going to be two parts to this to our um to our duels and me and eric once we got dueling because like i had um you know since the time difference or whatever between me and him you know so i woke up early in the morning and you know wait so like it was like okay early morning for me late night for him that's what it was that's what it was like so um when me and him actually got into fighting each other you know we, we kind of lost track of like um time or whatever so we actually came out with more clips than we actually needed because if you think about it guys each fight okay some fights go to like 30 seconds you know some go to like a minute but when you're doing like a range duels and you know that the person that you're fighting is a good fighter, is a good player, then it keeps you on your toes. So then the matches will go up to be around like, you know, what a real good matches be like a minute, a minute or so, you know. So, you know, with all of that, also, okay, so say if it likes a minute and 15 seconds each match, we had like on one, on one, um, on, because this is part one. So on this part, I think we actually got more on part two than part one. But on part two, man, we had I had like 28 clips, knowing that I won't be able to use them all. But um, yeah, me and Eric, we kind of got, we kind of lost track. You know, we having so much fun, you know, dueling each other. But you know, it's cool. You know, we can use those clips for something else always. But I'm sorry, guys. You know, I if I if I could, you know, I would use every clip that we had but I'm pretty sure you guys would not sit here and watch a 45 minute long video of um, me and Eric dueling and I pretty and now I'm starting to think that like the vid, the videos that I'm doing uh, I well you know I don't think that they're too long I think 20 minutes are around like you know a decent a decent um link for um video cuz um but then again I say that just because you know I love dueling and I love I love editing videos and uploading them and uploading them, you know, so you guys can see. And yeah, you know. I love it. I'm so glad that I started uploading um videos and if it wasn't for Martyrs Brigade, you know, I wouldn't even be into PvP, so you know, another shout out for him, you know, he never can get enough shout outs because I'm pretty sure that Everyone that's in the Dark Soul community, dude. Everyone, man. I don't know why he has so many haters, but dude, Marty Brigade, he's the man. Like, if you just start, if you started PVP, I'm pretty sure you watched his videos, and that really got you into PVP. Cause that's happened to me, and I met so many people that um, Mar Marty Brigade have um influenced in a good way, you know to um start the PvP and you know pretty much I learned I learned my fighting style I actually learned how to play from watching him you know so big shout out to him and I get a nice little pair right there and if it wasn't for him once again I would have been afraid to even attempt to parry a Black Knight Great Axe I mean not yeah Black Knight Great Axe do you guys know how much damage that thing hits for the Black Knight Great Axe hits for massive damage. It's not just the Black Knight Great Axe. It's any Black Knight weapon. 
you will see how he got this um this Harburg here, the Black Knight Harburg. It hits very high, even though my defense is like super high. You know, if if my defense wasn't as high as it was, because with this particular um armor setup I got right now, this is a one twenty five character, of course. Um, but the little um the armor selection I have is actually like my defense is um like three eighty something, but I got like four four hundred and like slash defense so you know that's a big help but still man black knight weapons in general in general just hit for high hit points like seriously like black knight weapons are no joke and um it's kinda hard when you're going up against a black knight weapon when you know three hits is like pretty much all of your vitality see that was a one hand hit but if that was two hand that was crazy and you see I caught him with a crazy um R2 right there and while we was dueling this day, this particular day, for some reason, he kept getting caught up in my R2s. Well, the Hallberg R2s, for some reason. I don't know why, but, man, those, he's, he was like, man, those R2s are effective. And I'm like, yeah, you know, the R2s are pretty, the, with the Hallbergs and like, you know, dude, you can dead angle, you can dead angle um with the R2. And it's pretty um it's pretty sick the way you do it. It's pretty cool. I actually found this out by one of my friends, um, you know, for show sure, Negro, you know. I, I play with him a lot, you know. But dude, he did that combo on me one day, actually dead angled me and then got it like an extra on um, poking with the normal Harburg and like, man, that's all your vitality right there. But dude, yeah, you can dead angle. And dead angling is something that I actually have to learn more because I'm not pretty um efficient with it, you know. I don't I really don't dead angle as much. If I dead angle, it's pretty much by mistake. You know, most of the time it's by mistake. And right here, you see I'm getting a little bit too carried away with these R twos. So I'm pretty sure I think that I um kinda slowed down a bit. Tried to get a set up here right there, but you know, he's smarter than that. When you see it's different. When you're playing against someone that you know for a fact knows how to parry, you will rarely spam that R1 button, I promise you. Because each time you engage, it was always be in the back of your mind that um you might get parried. But I want you guys to check out this combo he did right here. It's coming up and this is this is pretty good. I see a lot of people do this like he stunned me with the running R1 and goes around for the BS and that is Okay, I'm next to nothing. Well, no, no, I wouldn't say I'm next to nothing. I still can come back in this situation, but still, my vitality is gone, and that was a pretty um cool um little combo he did right there. That was one that was like a big highlight. But um, I think I need to start doing that more. But I have this thing where um I do I do not like to BS. The only time I would BS is when okay. The only time I'll be is, is okay when I'm getting ganked. And I don't care what nobody says. That is the perfect time to BS um, your opponents. Because, okay, dude, I'm already outnumbered. Okay, so how else am I going to beat them? I can't just straight up fight them, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. And then, because if I do that, then the other dude will um, BS me without a doubt. So, yeah. um, Wait. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so main point of me saying all of that is because um I'm pretty much just expressing to you well I'm not expressing, but I'm pretty much just telling you the only time that I see BS's that I personally only do BS's really. I mean I still will do them in the in um set up matches like these, but you will rarely see me do them. You'll probably see me do it once or maybe twice throughout the whole like twenty minute video. And right there, that's a perfect example. Had the perfect opportunity to BS, didn't go for it. And another reason why I don't like BS is because I think that parries are better. The only reason why I think parries are better is because I think that parries actually take skill. Because, you know, anyone can BS. You know, I'm not talking bad about anyone that BSs a lot or anything. But I'm just saying, anyone can BS, right? But... I'm not gonna lie, parries take skill. Some people just think it's just plain luck. I already said this before, but it's not luck. Come on, dude. It's skill. But that's my little two cents on that. 
But yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed the vid. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will put his to the link to his page down in the description. So you guys, please go check out his channel because he will have these. Um, he will have our fights uploaded as well. I'm not sure if it'll be the same day or not. But guys, please go check out his channel. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys later.